Hello, and welcome back to Dragon Robot Another 2. Last time, I did Yoriko's free time events for the third time, and there was a party, and Yuri went crazy, and yeah, a lot of stuff happened, and now we are going to bed, I believe. Until now, I always went to bed with a hint of fear, but tonight I was able to sleep peacefully. But suddenly I remembered. Only someone who kills can escape this island. And those desperate words from Hibiki this morning. But it's okay, five days have gone by and nothing has happened. Uh-oh. Even Siobhan and Mikado have been quiet. I pushed all my thoughts away and did my best to quickly fall asleep. Fatigue has been restored by one. It's officially 7 a.m. Wake the hell up. Okay. Ow. My head. Why do I have a splitting headache? Did you drink alcohol, Sora? Uh, yes, you did. Ah, uh, so this is what they call a hangover. I better go ask Mikado for breakfast. I also want to make sure everyone who stayed last night, late last night, made it home all right. I should go to the diner. I want everyone to know that this is being recorded um, about like five minutes after the re-recording of the previous episode. Like I just hit stop on the recording and started this up again. So my voice still hurts. I'm still sick. This this is going to be great. Huh, that's... What? What happened? Yuki, it's time for breakfast. So where is he off to in such a hurry? Something strange. I should follow him. Uh-oh. Yuki! <laughs> Zora, what are you doing here? That's my line. You know it's breakfast time, so where are you off to in such a hurry? I don't know if I have the time to explain. Yuri just sent me a message on my handbook plus. That he's in the bell tower and he needs someone to save him? What? Save him? What does that mean? I have no idea. That's why I'm in such a rush to find out what's wrong. I've got a bad feeling about this. I'm coming with you. Yes. Okay, let's go. Yuri asking to be saved? But why? Saved from what? More than anything else, though, I felt a sinister feeling emanating from the bell tower. Uh-oh. Yuki, do you see anything? Wait. Oh, no. Doesn't it kind of smell weird? Hmm. That voice. Is that Sora? What the hell? What is wrong with him? Oh my god, this is like a... He's... Okay. Sorry, baby, the love of my life. What are you doing to yourself? Are you... Listen, you, you can't be Komida, dude. I'm just thinking of that scene where he's like in the warehouse. I, this is that... It, it gives that and it also gives V3 when Oma pretends to be dead and he's not. If you know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, you can never be him. <laughs> You're just too horny, dude. Yuri, what happened? Yuri's words were nonchalant, but he was collapsed on the floor, bleeding. A giant hook was stuck in his left uh, calf, and a long rope was connecting it to the bell tower above, to the large bell above. His other leg was also badly wounded and was spilling blood all over the floor. Dude, what is he doing? I feel truly blessed to be spending my final moments on Earth with someone as amazing as you, Sora. It would have been perfect if it weren't for that male next to you, but I'll take it. Are you okay? What happened? Who did this to you? Hold on, I'll get that hook out of you. No, 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 don't touch it. Someone is finally taking my life. What? I wonder who it is who murdered me, adorable Hibiki. No, maybe it was the sweet Kanade. Or perhaps it was Yorika who said she felt strange. Well, it doesn't matter to me. It's not every day you get killed by a cute classmate. This isn't the time for jokes. Stay still. I am truly content being born a man and achieving my dream. Forgive me if this causes any inconveniences, my dear Sora. Please take care of yourself. Farewell. Those... Wait, did he actually just die? Those were the last words that Yuri would ever speak. As soon as he finished, his body was dragged up to the bell tower. His body quickly ascended upwards until we lost sight of him completely. As if someone was pulling him from above. No way. 
it, Yuri. What was that? Did the bell just ring? What the hell? Yuki, don't just stand there. We have to follow him. Yeah, right. Dude, what? Yuki and I ran towards the hallway that Yuri was dragged through. Just as we were about to go up the staircase where Yuri's body had vanished, it fell. From the sky, a great despair plummeted to the ground. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the? <laughs> what the hell? Dude. He, he really died. I didn't like him. But I thought that was a fake out. What the? Okay. I'm not going to complain my least favorite person died first, but like, jeez. The eccentric liveliness that usually shone from him had completely faded. A great despair had fallen upon us, as the body of Yuri Kagarin, the ultimate spaceman, was now a lifeless corpse. Bro, you want to be Komada so bad. Well, he's all slashed up now, too. Like, did someone slash him up at the top somehow? Or was there, like, some sort of knife? Cause... Hmm. Oh, it's him. It's my favorite character. What the he I'm so shocked. I thought that was, like, a fake out. I didn't think he'd actually be dying two seconds later. Ah! Ah! Huh. The splattered scarlet liquid, the pungent smell of blood violating the atmosphere. It didn't take long for me to realize what I was looking at was all too real. <coughs> Yuki! Uh, I know how you feel, but there's no time for that. Whoever pulled up Yuri must be at the top of the tower. We have to hurry. What? The culprit is up there? The stairway is the only way down. The culprit's got nowhere to run. We have to go up quickly. Hold on, wait a sec. Oh god, I can't even feel my legs. I can't believe he's dead, like... Oh my god. Trying to push the crippling anxiety out of our minds, Yuki and I quickly climbed the stairs. Even though it felt like the tower was taller than it had been before, we reached the top. We saw there was. Yoriko? Y Yoriko? Yoriko, what are you? Why? Uh, my head. What's going on? Uh, Yuki and Sora. What did you guys... What's going on? Why are you... Yoriko, did you... Did you... Huh? What are you guys talking about? And Why are you so pale? Look at the bottom of the tower. Below that railing. What? Is this something? Huh? What's that? Ah! Blood? Blood? Y Yuri? That's Yuri down there! Uh, that's... Am I... What is going on? The body has been discovered. Everyone please gather at the bell tower. I cannot believe he was the first one. What a discovery announcement. I'm so confused. What's happening? It... It's you. Yoriko, you killed him, didn't you? No, it's too easy, dude. What are you talking about? I don't even know what's going on. Both of you need to calm down. Monica just told us to gather, so we better go. How could this... Uh, how? Yuri? Uh, what? That's Yuri? He was partying just fine last night. Yes, don't worry. There's nothing to be afraid of. She makes me kind of uncomfortable. Like, Kai, that's a dead body. Why are you like, oh, it's okay. Uh, so Yuri broached the dust, huh? Well, he did ask for it, literally. When someone finally died, I was totally gonna rub it in her face. Like, see, murders can occur without a motive. But alas, it was thou who had gone. Oh, well. You piece of, how would you say something like that right now? <laughs> oh, man. Kid's a bloody rag, head, body, and all. Even his bones must have turned to dust. This is too horrible. Who was it? Who did such a thing? We already know who it is. It's either that damn Mikado, or it's Yobai. Why am I always the first suspect? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now, now, is everyone here? Silence, as this is the first murder. There are things that need to be cleared up. First, you're making it sound like there's gonna be more. 
Right, and murder? Does that mean someone killed Yuri? That can't be. We're the only ones on this island, and that would mean... Excuse That's me. right, Yuri Kagarin was killed by one of you. Someone out of the 14 of us had killed Yuri. I had my doubts when Monoko first announced the killing game, but... As Monoko spoke just now, the harsh reality of the killing game was etched into my mind. A murder really happened. He was happy, so maybe it was a girl. He was like, yeah, my dream comes true. But maybe there's a plot twist and somehow it was like a guy at the top and I was like, I don't know, trying to throw us off. I can't tell if it's a clue or a red herring that he was like, ah, it's my dream. Seeing how a murder really had occurred, being hopeful about not killing is just ignoring reality. Putting aside the sorrow of losing Yuri, this is where the fun actually starts. You're all gonna be very busy soon. Busy? What do you mean? He means we need to prepare for the class trial. Dean, 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 correct. You're a smart one, Kokoro. The main event of the school killing trip. The class trial. I've been excited for this ever since I started working on this whole thing. Shut up, Akato, you little. As Kokoro stated, you will have to find the black end who killed Yuri through the class trial. This game already has already begun. The fight to the death between the spotless and the black end. Will the black end escape the island? Will the spotless expose them? Which side shall fall? <laughs> I'll give you plenty of time to investigate. Try to find evidence about the murder so you can expose the black end in the trial. Mo ha ha ha! There's no way. I can't do that. Not a chance. Someone is dead. What are we supposed to? No, sis, we have to. Or would you rather have everyone be executed? Uh, what? It's as Kanade says. We have to do this. Satsuka, there's no escaping from this reality. You all know the rules of the class trial, right? If we don't find the killer, everyone will be executed. I had a bad feeling. It's why I threw the party. I wanted to avoid all this. I'm sorry it ended like this. It's all my fault. No, it's not, Satsuka. What are you talking about? None of this is your fault, Satsuka. Yeah, that's what I just said. So everyone dies if we can't find the culprit, huh? How tacky. One of us. So we're all suspects? Suspecting my friends. I've only met all of you a few days ago, but you all feel like such good friends of mine. If it weren't for all this... We would have been amazing classmates, wouldn't we? It's scary and it's awful, but we have to do this. Yes, to survive. Fufufu, <laughs> good luck. It looks, oh, not good luck. <laughs> good, it looks like you're prepared. To begin, I will bestow upon you the monocrow file. Ooh, it's different. It's monocrow. Monocrow file, what's that? Although there are lots of you, you are still high school students in the end. Investigating a murder won't be easy for all of you, so this file contains a bit of information. So Hoping this will somehow aid you, I, as a conductor, bid you farewell for now. I hope you succeed. What a use of this time to be thoughtful. Nani. No, based on Monaco's description of the file, the information should help us. Um, can I ask you something? Yes, what is it, Kanade? What measures of securing the crime scene should we take? We're going to need to keep the culprit from being able to steal clues. Securing the crime scene. Oh. I think it makes a good point. On the outside, would the police take the police would take control of a crime scene. Ah, oh, I see. It would be bad if the culprit could just remove evidence at will. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, leave it to me. I've got the strength for it. I'll keep this place guarded. All right, then we'll leave the crime scene to Hajime while the rest of us investigate. <laughs> well, what if it's Hajime? You should have two bodyguards in case one of them is the killer. Think it through, guys. Yeah, oh, she's it's she's literally saying it. Okay, sorry. Wait, we need another person too. Why? What are we gonna do if Hajime is the culprit? He'll be able to steal evidence while he guards the crime scene. What, you think I'm the culprit? She has a point. Until the class trial starts, we're all suspects. I see. So we need two people to guard the crime scene, but also watch over each other. Keep in watch. I know this is a dire situation, but it's like we don't trust each other. As a man, I don't want to suspect my friends, but yes. I'll do it. Securing the crime scene. Big bro. I'm not good with my head, so I won't be much help investigating anyways. Thankfully, I've got some strength like Hajime does. Yeah, we love Shinji. Ah, well, that'll do. I know I can trust Shinji. Shinji's such a bro. I love him. Wait, one more person. Why one more? Now, now I'm not following you. Wait, do we really need three people securing the crime scene? 
Haji Mansion share close, right? And we can't ignore the possibility of an accomplice. God, are you suspecting us? Suspecting you? Of course I am. You can't trust anyone in a situation like this. Though I hate to admit it, not even Hibiki can be trusted. Oh, okay. I do think she does have a dark side. I guess it can't be helped. I'll secure the crime scene too. Perfect. <sighs> By the way, Kanade. That's the Ron voice. By the way, Kanade, you're like a completely different person. What happened to you? Nothing happened. I'm just staying strong for sis. On top of that, when did you start calling your sister by her name? Oh my god. Oh god, okay. Oh, uh, she's crazy. Why do I have to listen to crap from the likes of you, hmm? Stop asking questions and start investigating, you little piece of trash. Ah. Kennedy, don't be mad. There's blood and a dead body. I'm scared. Help. There's nothing to worry about, Hibiki. Just follow me and I'll solve everything. What's up with these two girls? They're really starting to freak me out. Wait, you're all still just standing here. Sigaba and Mikado are already investigating. You guys should start soon as well. We don't know how much time we have left. All right. If all that stuff about securing the crime scene is settled, the rest of us should start investigating. Ah, uh, but before that, everyone. Hmm, what is it, Kokoro? What do you think? What do you all think of this murder? What do you mean? A person, one of our classmates is dead. This is dreadful, but we need to investigate thoroughly if we want to solve this thing. Hmm. But why did you ask that? It doesn't matter. You should start investigating. What's up with her? She just looked at our faces and left. Oh, she's a psychologist. She was trying to see if we had any, like, tells, I think. Like, see if anyone reacted when she said that. Now everyone, there's no time to lose. Let's start investigating. Calming our confused minds, everyone's starting to move around. Not averting our eyes from the death of Yuri, our friend, we decided to face forward. Now that a murder has occurred, the gap between life and death is paper thin. Although it's painful and sad, we have to do it. We've got to find the culprit who killed Yuri. Let's go. I guess I should start investigating too. I'm not really sure where to start, but I should at least read the Monaco file first. Oh, we get unique investigation music. That's cool. The victim is Yuri Kagarin. The estimated time of death is 7.30 a.m. The body was discovered in the bell tower on the first floor. His left calf is pierced by a hook, and he has sharp cuts all over his body. He also has a pierced wound on his right calf. Other than that, the bones in his neck, spine, and right knee, and left arm are all broken. The estimated cause of death is blood loss and trauma from bruises all over his body. Seeing the moniker file is giving me chills again. Yuri, he's actually dead for real. Even though he was a bit forward with women, discriminated men, and talked about stuff that just confused everyone, did he really deserve something like this? If only that was Mikado's corpse. No, I like Mikado. He's the funniest character in this. I can't stay like this forever. If we think through the information given in the monochrome file, it says the cause of death was from the trauma of all the bruises on his body. So he must have fallen to his death. Here he died right in front of Yuki and I, so it should be safe to assume that. Though I do find it confusing as to how he got all those cuts all over his body. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Did the culprit stab him with a knife after hooking him up or something? Something happened when he was up there in the air, and I don't think it was Yoriko. I don't know if the culprit had time. I think the culprit led Yoriko there to trick um, us into thinking it was her. And I also wonder if perhaps they like convinced Yuri it was her too somehow, or it was another girl. I'm not sure. I. I think it would be very interesting, though, if they tricked him into thinking it was her and us thinking, it, you know, that he said that, that it had to be a girl because it's actually a guy. It, like, do you remember in Danganronpa Another One when they did the whole thing where um, Maki died and it was, like, in the bathroom and they were like, oh, only a girl could have done it because it was the girl's bathroom, but then it was Mitch? Like, what if it's another we're trying to trick you about the gender thing? Maybe I'm thinking too hard on this. I don't know if the culprit had time. Yuri fell back down only seconds after he got pulled up. Yeah, okay. Moreover, I get that the culprit pulled him up with a rope and a hook. But what's up with the wound on his right thigh? Was that also made by the hook? 
And the time of death, there's no denying it. You, Yuki and I were there for it after all. I should ask reference alibis at that time too. I guess there wasn't that much info in the file, but it was definitely helpful. I'll start investigating with this information in mind. Truth bullet found. The investigation has begun. During the investigation, you will collect truth bullets that are needed for the class trial. Truth bullets are clues that will help you solve the case. Investigate the crime scene and any other suspicious places to collect all the truth bullets. You can check how many other truth bullets you need to collect and the info about them in the bullets tab in the handbook plus. The explanation points represent places of interest. That's where you'll find truth bullets. All right, so this is actually another re-recording. Yeah, so for some reason, even though I swear to God I checked it, the footage once again did not record, only my voice recorded. So I actually, luckily enough, because I replayed episode four three times, I had multiple save files from right before this one started. So I went to one of those and I basically just hit the button to sync it up to my voice recording because that whole first chunk is like just clicking. There's no like, go to this item and go to this item. You know, like it was in, it would be easy to sync up because I don't remember the order. I did these, like, I don't remember the order I investigated in, so I couldn't sync that up properly, but I could sync up the first part because there was nothing I needed to click on during it. So that was my genuine reaction to Yuri's death. I wanted to make sure that I actually got in here, but this other part, this is re-recording, so. I haven't done the trial yet. Um, I've done this part before though, so we're just gonna do it again and it's gonna be great. And I'm gonna start here because this took me forever to find last time. Yeah, lots of, te lots of technical difficulties for this particular playthrough. Like I, I had a lot for Danganronpa about another one, but this one is just like, I like this game a lot, but I would like it a hundred times more if I didn't have to replay every single episode multiple times. Okay, <laughs> and now back to the show. Setsuka, is the investigation going smoothly? Ah, Sora. Well, about that. I just found something strange. Something strange? Also, if my voice sounds off, I have a really bad cold, so. Yeah. Come follow me for a second. This is the entrance to the bell tower. Do you see that thing in the bushes? That thing? Ah, oh, this is... A life jacket. And I'm pretty sure no one used this to take a swim. Don't you think this, this is something that the culprit might have left? It's very close to the crime scene after all. Why would they need to use a life jacket? Look carefully, Sora. There's a hook grappled to the life jacket. Ah, oh, you're right. And this hook? Yup, the same one we found in Yuri's calf. I still don't know what exactly it was used for, but it definitely was used in the murder. Setsuka, this definitely is crucial evidence. I thought so too. Let's keep this in mind. A life jacket that seems to have been used by the culprit, but for what purpose? Oh, the life jacket has been added. I'm also gonna talk to everyone because they don't really have anything important, but you do get flavor text for every character. Sora, how's the investigation going? I'm trying my best. What about you? I'm doing my best too, but Harry's lifeless face keeps looking at me. I'm so weak, I can't even bring myself to look at him. But everyone's life is at stake. I have to do it. Thank you, Yu Yuki. I'll work hard too. Ah, there's some liquid on the ground. What is this, I wonder? I didn't have the guts to taste it, so I just crouched down and smelled the liquid. Why would you taste it? It could be poison, Sora. I mean, like, yeah, he didn't die by poisoning, but you never know. You never want to just lick mysterious liquids. It smells like some sort of chemical substance. Hello. Sora, why are you doing crouching on the ground? She creeps me out now, by the way. Like, that whole interaction she had with Aroha. Mm, bad vibes, oh, let me tell you. There's some sort of liquid here. Ah, that's an anesthetic. Anesthetic? This one in particular is one used in medical surgeries, used for general anesthesia. How do you know all that? 
I've smelled it a lot. <laughs> like creepy. Like why? Why have you smelled that? Why? Why would you know that? I don't trust her. Did you spend a lot of time in a hospital or something? Moreover, the fact is that if this is here, the culprit used it, right? But the liquid alone wouldn't be enough to make someone unconscious. Don't worry about that. I already went and confirmed that one of the needle shots is missing from the infirmary. I went to check as soon as I found out that an anesthetic was involved. Okay, sure. The culprit must have used the shots to inject Yuri with the anesthetic. She, mm, I don't like her. That's pretty impressive, Kanade. Like, she makes me uncomfortable. I'm scared of her. Did you also know that the shots can be precisely measured to know how much you want injected? In other words, even an amateur can control the amount of time that the victim will be unconscious by measuring to the exact degree. I don't know if the culprit utilized this, but it's definitely an important clue. I see. I'll add it to my notes. But I have to say, you've completely changed, Kanade. Yeah, you're scary now. Your actions and your way of thinking. It's almost as if you're used to this kind of thing. She's probably a serial killer or something. I mean, after seeing Yuri die, I can barely hold myself together. Used to it? Oh no, I just read a lot of mystery novels. Sure you do. And if I panic, poor little Hibiki will only suffer more. Uh-huh. That's totally it. Even though Kanade's personality took a creepy 180 degree flip. I mean... It would not be unusual for a Danganronpa game to have a serial killer in its cast. I mean, hello, they've done it twice already. Her account definitely brings us one step closer to finding the culprit. And I'm scared of her. Okay, creepy. Okay, let's talk to her again. <laughs> Habiki's gone into shock after seeing this body. I'm not sure if I can help much, but I need help Habiki. I'll double check everything. Okay, good, we're done with her. <laughs> The better of the twins. There's a dead. This is what I was afraid of. I'm scared. Okay. Very helpful. Oh, Sora, this is terrible. Yuri is dead. Really? We can't change what has already happened. I know, but I just wish that this was all a terrible nightmare. So it is, isn't it? Ah, even in this case, I need to think positively. Yes, positively. Um... Yuri was very dangerous, right? So maybe it isn't so bad? <laughs> I mean, he did kind of suck. You, you're right. No one deserves anything like this. Yuri wasn't that bad of a person at heart. Mm, I disagree. I disagree. Um, you're very right. I'm sorry. Okay. Oi. Well, is your investigation going well? I'm doing my best. I might not be actively investigating all this, but I'm outlining the case and it's going to be a crazy article someday. Even after a murder has occurred, you're still thinking about writing articles. It's very fitting of your talent. You know, I, I've, before I played this, like I said, there's a very popular trial that everyone edited like five years ago, but I've seen some of these characters before, like, just like the whole cast. I've seen like their sprites before. And I have to say, Nikkei, I thought he was going to be like this mysterious, like cool grown up dude. It is not the personality I expected he was going to have. Just from like what I saw, I was just like, oh, he's going to be like really cool. No, he's not. He's just, he's just a guy. I like him though. I think he's sweet, but he's not like, I'm so cool. He's just very eager. What's this? Some long thread-like stuff is scattered all over the floor. Upon touching it, it seems much sharper than normal thread. Are these wires? What, how he got the slashes in his legs? They're so sharp, you could probably cut your fingers just by touching them. I instinctively knew that this must be what caused all the cuts on Yuri's body. If he was cut by these wires, it would explain the state of his body right now. The cause of death was definitely from falling, so this isn't the murder weapon, but... Still seems like it's important. I'll add it to my notes. Truth bullet obtained. Sharp wires. Let's look at the body again. It's Yuri Kagarin's corpse. How did he, no matter how creepy he was, end up like this? Yuri, I will find the culprit. I promise. I guess I need to inspect the body if I'm going to find the culprit. Ooh. Yuri's dead body was in a dreadful state. His whole body was dripping in blood, 
and all of his joints were broken and twisted in obscure directions. I guess it's because he fell from so high up. Ooh, that looks like it hurts. Like, ow! Oh my god, wait, it goes all the way through the bone. I didn't even see the bottom part of that hook. Ow! On his left calf, there's a huge hook stuck in his flesh. Where did they get the hook from, though, is my question. It looks so deeply rooted that it won't budge when you touch it. Like, did they get it from the, the 7-Eleven that they have? And connected to that huge hook is a rope. So, the culprit pulled Yuri with this rope all the way to the top floor and then dropped him. Even at a glance, this rope seems quite strong and sturdy. It would take a lot of force to cut this rope. I get that the culprit pulled him up with the hook and the rope, but... What's with the wound on his right calf? At first glance, it looks like the same hook made this wound. But there was... But was there a reason to hook both calves? Hmm, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I don't remember. I didn't find anything else that wasn't on the moniker file. I figured there might be some sort of big clue hidden on the body, but... With the exception of the fact that the rope and the hook were used, there was nothing like that. I guess I need to investigate some more. Okay. Oh, Mikado, we didn't talk to you, baby boy. <laughs> My favorite character. My soul. A murder finally happened! You look excited. It's finally time for the main event. The class trial! Of course I'm excited. As a murderer myself, I think I'll write down any tricks that I can think of. That'll help, right? Yeah, you do that. He thinks he's so helpful. He's like, oh, 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 I'll write it down. He's, he kills me. I love him. The victim is Yuri Kakarin. Estimated time of death is around 7.30 a.m. The body was found on the first floor of the bell tower. The lower calf is pierced by a hook. Also, there's a cut on the right calf. In addition, the cervical vertebra, the vertebra right knee bone, and the arm bone are broken. The cause of death was excessive bleeding and shock due to his whole body bruising. Ouch. Nah. Hey, you there. I'm calling you, yes you, the white-haired girl. Huh, me? That's strange. You of all people calling me over? That never crossed my mind. And white hair, isn't that rude? It kind of makes me feel old. Whatever. I just want to tell you something interesting. You were thinking that the hostess over there is suspicious, right? Huh? Are you talking about Yoriko? Come on, you can't fool me. Your face is at all. Well, about that, there's something interesting I want to tell you. I happened to see her walking over to the bell tower just this morning. What? Not only that, she was also holding a rope in her hands. You know, like the one attached to the dead body right now. The culprit did that, but why would Yoriko? <laughs> oh well, I don't know anything about that. I'm just testifying what I saw. Yoriko went to the bell tower this morning with a rope in her hands? That's like saying Yoriko is the culprit. There's no way I can know for sure until the class trial. I'll take note of what Siobai said just in case. Truth bullet obtained. Uh, oh, I haven't talked to this dude yet. Even if he was a bit strange, it sucks to see Yuri go like this. No one in the world deserves something like this. Except maybe Mikado. Stop throwing him under the bus like that! Sora, he is the funniest character. He cooks for you. He has a rubber ducky when he takes a bath, and that is very charming. He is doing his best to be helpful. Like, yeah, I know he's literally trapped you all, but... He's, he's doing his best to be a friend and to help you out. You know, who cares if this is all his fault? He's trying, okay? He's just a real stand-up guy. <laughs> and I think he's funny. He, he, he started a group chat that you guys were all ungrateful about and wouldn't even participate in. <sighs> so sad. I'm just sad that I didn't get to know him better. Okay. Very helpful. Shinji. Is everything all right with the crime scene? Uh, Sora. Yep, everything's under control. Here, here. <laughs> I guess with three people watching this place, the culprit won't be able to touch anything. Oh, uh, by the way, Sora, maybe this is just me, but... Uh, 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 about Yoriko. Please stop stuttering and speak normally. It's hard to get anything out of you. Leave him alone, Sora. He's... He's sensitive. He... He has a hard time talking to girls. This has been established. He's doing his best. About Yoriko, 
Isn't it a bit strange? You're saying she's suspicious. She seems different than before. I've been jogging with Hajime every morning, but today he was late because of some business. So I was spending time in the mono cruise, and as soon as morning came and the door was unlocked, I saw Yoriko head outside right away. Yoriko went outside as soon as the door opened? Of course. I have no idea where she went. But she was odd, and she looks even more suspicious now. Come to think of it, we found Yoriko at the top of the bell tower. If by chance she's not the culprit, then how did she get up there? I can't be sure if she's the culprit yet, but she's definitely connected to the case. Thanks, Shinji. I think your account will definitely be helpful. Ah, Sora, why are you grabbing my hand all of a sudden? Ignoring the stuttering Shinji, I added his account to my notes. Truthful obtained. See, like, I don't think it could possibly be Yoriko because she's so obvious. Like, there's no way it is her. This is the top of the spiral staircase that leads up to the top of the bell tower. Not the top of the... This is the spiral staircase that leads up to the top of the bell tower. It really does go up high. It doesn't even look like it goes that high outside. Yuki and I took these stairs up to the top floor, but the only thing we found there was Yoriko. I thought for sure the culprit would be there. Or maybe Yoriko is the culprit. I can't jump to any conclusions yet. Whatever the culprit did, they definitely pulled up Yuri. So at one point, they definitely went up these stairs. If I consider the height of these stairs, it would probably take five minutes to climb them. So when did the culprit actually go up these stairs? Spiral staircase has been added. Let's talk to you. Hello, Emma. I heard from Yuki what happened, but the person at the top of the tower should be the culprit, right? Wasn't your up there though? The spiral staircase is taller than it looks. The killer must have been smart being up there like that. Up we go. A huge bell hung from the ceiling of the tower. Huh, there's something odd here. <laughs> I I said this last time too, but like, this is a re-recording. Every time it does that, I think it's gonna be like, surprise, it was a crow coin here. Cause that's what they say at the beginning of like, when you get one, it's like, huh, there's something here. And then it's like the crow coin. How funny would that be if that's what this was? What are those? They look like traces of some sort. Looking from the bottom, it looks like something was swept through the top of the inside walls of the bell. I wonder what made those traces. I recall that before Yuri fell, the bell rang. Could it be related? I've never looked inside the bell before, so it's possible that those traces have always been there. Even though I was unsure. I wrote it down in my notes. Oh, so she's actually keeping notes. Like, the truth bullet... Thing is actually canonically notes she is taking. Interesting. I just always assume they memorized it, but that actually makes a lot more sense they'd write it down. Oh, this is... Upon inspecting the spiral staircase from here, I realized something odd. What are those wires? I think there were wires like these on the first floor too. When I touched them, I could tell they were one and the same. They're connected to the walls along the spiral staircase. Looking closer, those weren't the only ones from the bottom floor on the top. Wire were hung from the walls with intervals, but they've all already been snapped, so that means the wires from the bottom floor must have been hung up here before. This was definitely set up by the culprit, but why would they go out of their way to do this? I have no idea, but I'll still take note of this. Hun wires. And down we go. And let's go outside. Yes. We gotta go to the uh, place the party was. It's gonna tell us. Yeah. Ah, uh, Sora, where are you going? I'm going to look elsewhere. I know the murder happened here, but there could be clues in other places, right? All right, in that case, I suggest you visit the guest house. It's right next to the bell tower, and since we had a party there last night, you might find something. I see. All right, thanks. Is that this one? Yes. Uh, hello. Sora, you're here too. Since the guest house is close to the bell tower, I thought I would check it out for clues. Good idea. The guest house does have some clues. I suggest you find them. 
I think they're up here. Yeah. Glass bottles with some liquid inside of them. They're probably from last night's party. The smell is still there. I don't know how people manage to drink this stuff. One sip and I was already feeling dizzy. I was smelling all the bottles when one of them suddenly caught my attention. Oh, wait. This bottle. The inside of this bottle doesn't smell. Does that mean this isn't alcohol? Instead of having the smell of alcohol, the bottle I picked up smelled like nothing. After some hesitation, I drank it. Okay, but Zora, once again, just willing to consume questionable liquids. Well, I love that's one of her defining character traits now, apparently. It really doesn't taste like anything. This is just water. A bottle of water was amongst the bottles of alcohol. Maybe someone just wanted to drink water last night, but... I should take note of this just in case. Someone was pretending to be drunk, but they weren't. I think. Ah, oh, Sora, what brings you here? That's my line. What are you doing here? Nothing much, but you know, the murder happened right after the night of the party, right? So I figured the party must have something to do with the murder. Ah, that's my reason for coming here as well. Hey, Sora, when do you think the culprit decided to kill Yuri? By when, you mean? I mean, there were six people who stayed up late drinking yesterday, including me. Actually, there was a period where Yuri was alone. Maybe that's when the culprit took his chance. So Yuri was left alone last night? Yuriko, do you think you could explain in detail what happened last night? Well, after we sent you away, we kept drinking and partying. Of course, I wasn't drinking, but the others were drinking non-stop. They were fully drunk. Eventually, nighttime came, so we were forced to head back to the monocruise, but... Yuri said he needed to go to the bathroom and that we should leave without him. So you left him alone? What were you thinking? She's not his babysitter, Sora. Like, come on. But wait, he wasn't completely alone. We were all there together, but if we hadn't gone back before night time, we would have all been locked out. To be honest, things were so out of control with me trying to take care of all the drunk people that I don't remember. Yeah, that's like five people she's babysitting. Like five I know they're teenagers, but they're basically adults. Like, that's a lot of people to keep track of that are drunk. Some of the details. Someone definitely went with him, but I can't quite recall who it was. So you didn't check if he actually returned to the monocruise, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't even know if he made it back. I didn't expect that things would go this way at the time. I was being careless. I guess asking the other students if they saw Yuri go into the ship last night might be a good idea. Anyways, Yuri was definitely alive up until we all drank yesterday, so maybe that will help. You're not the culprit, are you? Uh, of course not! Why would I be the culprit? I see. Well, I'm sure we'll talk about this at the class trial. Thanks to Yuriko's account, we might be able to know when the killer went for Yuri. Yeah. And that's everything. I'm glad everyone is investigating as they should be. Unfortunately, though, the investigation period is officially over. The class trial will now begin, so everyone should go to the class trial entrance on the first floor of the Mono Cruise. It seems like investigation time is over. We all did our best, but we can't be sure who the culprit is until we do the class trial. We need to do this. We need to trust everyone's abilities. We need to hope that we can solve all the mysteries of this case in the class trial. Monocru's first floor. He must be talking about that door. You're all here. You're late, Sora. Last place again. I'm late. Sorry about that. Oh, we were worried about you. What made you so late? I came as soon as I heard the announcement. Maybe it's because you're the culprit, right? As if. Hibiki, you can't say stuff like that to poor Sora without any evidence. It's like what Kanade said earlier. Either we expose the culprit or we all die. Those are the only two outcomes. If we mess up, we're all dead. What happened to us? Just yesterday we were partying. How did it come to this? We have no time to think about that. If we give up here, we won't be able to survive. Wait, if this was the class trial room, is this the class trial room? It's not at all like I imagined it would be. No, no. This is only the entrance to the class trial room. See that elevator? We'll be taking that down to the class trial room. Why are we? Took us down? Don't wear, are we on a cruise? 
Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's get this over with. You're pretty damn late back, considering all our lives are in danger. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Everyone seems to have gathered, so let us begin. The exciting, the extreme, the class trial. Everyone, come aboard the elevator in front of you and come to the trial grounds. There's no running from the class trial, so take what you've gathered during the investigation. And do your best to win. <laughs> Say, so we're really doing this. I don't want to go down. Are we going to be able to find the culprit? It'll be really bad if we can't. Oh, you know what? Bring it on. It's not like we can escape this anyways. It's like what Big Bro says. If we put our heads together and discuss this, we'll find the culprit. Culprit or kill Yuri. Let's find them, no matter what. It's starting. Once we get on that elevator, there's no going back, no running away, or giving up. But I'm not alone. I need to survive through this with everyone. Let's talk to everyone first. I found a trial house before, but participating in one for real? This is really starting. I have to be careful. Mm, this boy. I didn't want to die, so I'll work hard in the class trial. If we don't win, we die. If we can't avoid it, we will face it head on. This isn't the school life I wanted. Aw. Will we be okay, Kanade? Can we live through this? Don't worry, Hibiki. We will solve this. All you have to do is relax. Let's solve this case nicely so it can appear on tomorrow's front page. Okay. Weird comment. Okay, they, they're the same. Let's go. We can't run away from the truth. We have to find the killer. Let's discuss who the culprit is based on our investigation. Put it on! I will overcome this class trial. Monica is doing all this just because one person is dead. All right, I think this is a good stopping point here. Lots of stuff happened that episode. Um, yes, Yuri died, but was anyone upset? Be honest. <laughs> I, it's still crazy to me that they acted like it was going to be a death fake out, but it wasn't a fake out. He actually died, and it was crazy. Um, yeah, uh, I have a couple people I'm suspicious of. Um, for example, uh, kind of just creepy, but I don't know if it's her. Um, they mentioned something uh, about like a he Shinji. He's like, yeah, I usually go out uh, jogging with Hajime. And Hajime wasn't there, so that's Hajime. Hajime is also a little sus. Um, definitely not Mikado. Definitely not CEO by. They're too important. Um, everyone else is fair game, although I think Yugi is probably safe too. Same with Yoriko, I think she's like obviously not it. Everyone else is fair game though. Um, I have a feeling that Kokoro is going to end up being pretty important too. I don't know, I just got that vibe from her. Yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you haven't, it really does help out me and my channel. And I hope you're having a wonderful day or night or wherever you are in the world. I hope it's amazing. And I will see you on the next episode when we start our first class trial. Oh my gosh, we're already at a trial. Isn't that crazy? All right. See you guys then. Later.